And you, you have to stop him. You... God, that does not look good. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. Yo, 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 what is up, everybody? Welcome back to another TV show reaction and commentary. And today we're going to be hopping into season three, episode five of Better Call Saul. This one's titled Chicanery. All right. Um, I, I may have said that incorrectly. I guess we'll find out because usually they say the actual title in the episodes. But um, very excited to see what the heck is going to happen in this court, <laughs> in this court case. It's uh, I I'm not too well known within the uh, realm of law within court systems. I didn't go to school for law. OK, but for those of you who did, please, by all means, share your I your your, uh, your thoughts. I would love to hear your expertise on this. Um, and even if you just enjoy law, right? Like, I feel like it's still a good opportunity to still express something. Um, but you know, just in case if you're not studying it and somebody who does is like responding to you, <laughs> listen, I'm not getting involved with that. Okay. It's either, you know, you sort of know, or you definitely know, um, just know which one you are. <laughs> so yeah, I'm excited to jump into this. Uh, it's definitely a sticky situation just even outside of the court case we're talking about relationships we're talking about emotions we're talking about motives right reasons why people do things and i feel like this show does an incredible job at expressing and and at least in a in a incredibly well shot story manner why these characters feel the way they do and and how it affects them and how it affects their surroundings and as much as jimmy even in breaking bad i always called him like a main character even though he was you know a side character he radiated main character energy uh <laughs> and rightfully so i mean i was kind of correct on that i just knew that out of all the people he was going to get out alive just because of how he navigates but this show is doing a brilliant job at carrying over what I said to even his own show where he is the main character. Um, but you have these incredible forces of supporting characters that can be rightful main characters in their own way. And it's fascinating. It truly is fascinating as much as I, you know, as much as I really nail Chuck, <laughs> it, he's written so wonderfully, you know, he's such a, a, a joy to uh, just experience, you know, when it comes to the conflict between him and Jimmy and just him with the other characters as well, too. I may not like what he's doing for sure, but that does not mean that he is not written well. Um, I know none of you guys are saying that, but I'm just here to clarify that uh, because, yeah, it, it's these, these characters are written so well. They really do feel like real people. <laughs> <laughs> they do feel like real people um and it's uh, that that's a that's a great sign for the showrunners for the people who have directed these episodes the writers as well too i mean it's like breaking bad was so in incredible that <laughs> a, a i don't want to call it a spinoff is it labeled a spinoff well the series that departures from breaking bad is just as good and in some cases better which is wild in my opinion so guys i'm not going to talk too much more i'm really excited to just jump into here and just see how we are gonna you know <laughs> get involved with this but as always um you can support the channel by leaving a like comment subscribe and also the best way to support the channel too is through patreon you can have early access get ahead of the game all that good stuff i'm gonna be implementing some new things finally finally i'm so excited i got everything all situated all I got to do is just edit some things, but it's good. It's, it's cool. I'm going to be taking you guys along for uh, some of the creations that I do. You know, I, I always create, you know, I'm always working, whether if that's with clients or me just going out and practicing my craft. So it's going to be cool now bringing you guys along with me and uh, hopefully you guys similar to um, how you guys are learning about filmmaking and just, you know, entertainment through this matter i hope that through that matter you guys can do a similar similar thing so i'm excited but yeah enough of that we're gonna jump into better call saw season three episode five all right just from the color we back in the past let's see what is going on here not too too far in the past this time but might be the beginning of when he's moving in. And that person being Chuck. Good. Um, what do you think? 
On, off. Oh, I think off. Yeah, what happened to that that marriage? I hope we get a little bit more into Chuck's backstory. The harder it can be to dig out. I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. Again, I find Chuck to be extremely fascinating. He's a little petty little <laughs> gremlin at times, but he's such a well-written character. Just his relationship to his environment because of his condition and how you can see it. You can literally see his story unfolding just from the environment is, is incredible. I don't think any other character, a little bit with Jimmy, but yeah, any other character comes close to that. It's open. Wow, we are actually getting it. That's perfect. I'm so happy I talked this up then. I really want to see this. Then, boom, power goes down. I get on the phone to the city. To make a long story short, those bozos at PNM mixed up my payment. Have they... Is this rehearsed? Is this rehearsed? Has he not talked about his condition? And him and Jimmy know about this? How's the tour going? It's good, good. Um, the Far East this fall. Uh, China, South... Yo, that medallion, whatever type of thing she... Stole from the ocean of Poseidon on her neck is crazy. <laughs> what the heck is that? Oh, God. I'm sorry. Uh-oh. Oh, it's the phone. Uh-oh, it's the phone. And, and, and Saul knows. Jimmy knows. Got it. Got it. I will make sure that... I'm can, can you hold on a second? Let me just get a pen. Mm -hmm. Bro, get up and go do the dishes with your brother. <laughs> Holy crap. Every time he goes through this, it just reminds me of like, like if I cringe really hard, this is what it reminds me of. Every time I cringe at something, I'm reminded of Chuck. <laughs> Say something. It is incredibly bad manners oh to answer God. a cell phone. That's the worst thing you could have said, man. That's that's the worst thing you could have said. Just say what you're going through. Why? Why, I, Chuck? I didn't know that you felt that Why? way. I didn't mean to offend you, Chuck. I feel like her response to that question would have is worse than the one if you just told her the truth. Uh, he probably doesn't want to say it because of how... He wants to look in front of her. Rather, she think you're a raging prick than know the truth? No. Look, if you won't tell her, then I will. You will? No. No, you will not tell her. What is... Dude, Chuck is so frustrating. I... He's so frustrating. Golly, man. I just don't get it. I'm like Jimmy in this situation. I'm just looking at him like... Like, bro, what are you doing? <laughs> Every time I try to root for Chuck... He just fumbles in his own end zone. It's like, I can't even root for you, man. You just suck, bro. <laughs> you got to fit him in a tight space? I don't think so. I got just a guy then. <laughs> I love that this dude just... <laughs> Have we not seen him in Breaking Bad? This guy is just the plug. He is the actual plug. <laughs> Dinner's on me. <laughs> Kim, I knew you were good, but I didn't know you were this good. Oh, I'm glad you're happy. Man, what is going to happen with Kim? What is going to happen with Kim at the end of all of this? I'm, I'm so intrigued. Allegations of what? Oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah, she has to say this. She has to say this. I forgot she has to say this. This is, wow. I don't know why I didn't even think of this. Now, whatever mud Miguel is slinging is not going to screw me out of the best outside counsel I've ever had. Okay, thank God. I was about to say, I was like, <laughs> I hope y'all don't switch up on her. I'm so glad to hear that. We appreciate the heads up, but you can call this baby. Man, I'm on Team Kim, always. 
Mesa Verde isn't involved in any way, shape, or form. Okay. Good. Then I'll see you tonight. Okay, great. See you then. Yeah, and it's just Jimmy's making it so much harder for her. I am just so frustrated, man. This is going to get ugly. This is going to get so ugly. Okay, this is it. We can run without lights and mics. We'll collect all cell phones and hold them for the I duration. love this camera angle, too. The uh, court reporter. Having the electricity from the exit sign. Um, I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do about the exit signs. It's code. I appreciate all you're doing. Thank you. Mr. Alley, I wonder if you'd give us a moment. Love that moment. I love that moment. I, like... He's so interesting. Howard is so intriguing. I cannot wait to find more about him. That that inhale and that exhale right there. What is going on in his head? I'm not going to risk Jimmy getting, what, a year of suspension? Maybe two? He deserves disbarment. Not some slap on the wrist. Oh, man. That is going to be the death of Chuck. He just doesn't know when to just let it go, man. Just let it go. Hanging on to the the pain of his father and their relationship. It's crazy. This court's going to be brutal. Mr. McGill broke into his brother's home and destroyed an audio cassette, which contained a recording of a conversation between himself and his brother, Charles McGill. Oh, man. I just wish we all could just get along. <laughs> I am anxious. Nothing further at this time. Ms. Wexler. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. <clears throat> this is wild. Oh, man. This is so wild. I cannot believe Kim is... Is, is questioning her boss, or her ex-boss. That's wild. He put himself through law school and taken the bar exam without telling any of the partners, even Charles. He bootstrapped his way into a law degree while working in your mailroom. Oh, this is a great angle. Good angle. Nice angle. We felt hiring Jimmy might damage morale. Nepotism. Your firm is Hamlin, Hamlin, and McGill, right? Who's the other Hamlin? Woo! I was just about to say that. Oh, man, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Jimmy was struggling to build his solo law practice, and yet every single day, without fail, he brought his brother food, supplies, even his favorite newspapers. Isn't that right? Ooh, I got chills, man. <laughs> this is good. Ooh, this is good. How is this going to end, man? <laughs> At this time, the State Bar would like to enter Exhibit 5 into evidence. We ask that Charles McGill's recording be played. I'm respectfully renewing my objection the probative value of playing this exhibit. Oh, man, this is going to be real cringy. Here we go. <laughs> oh, man. How delayed? 40 minutes last I checked. Shit. Okay, keep me posted. What are they talking about? Oh wait! Oh no! No! Wait a minute! Is he is he flying in Chuck's wife? Is that what's what? Is that why we were showed that at the beginning? I love my brother. He's a good person. He has good in him. But the law is too important. Golly, that is just weird to hear him rehearse this. I know he has to, but. It's weird. Kim deserves Mesa Verde. Not you, not HHM. She earned it and she needs it. I mm. did it to help her. Ah, uh, is this her first time hearing this too? Man, this, this, is, this is rough, man. Jimmy, you do realize you just confessed to a felony? Ah, here we go, here we go. Yes. But you feel better, right? Oh, man. Man, that tape is rough. I don't know how they're going to get out of that. I don't know why. Just real quick. I just love angles like that. It's so good. Just so good. They don't have to do it. But that's what makes the show so interesting to just look at. The cinematography is great. Excuse me. Sorry. Yo. Yo, 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 it's Big Black. Are you kidding me? 
it's obviously now you guys know why I'm saying that if you followed my Breaking Bad, but oh my god, <laughs> oh my god, this this is awesome. Damn, this is awesome. By disease to extract the truth. Can we talk about your disease for a moment? I'd like everybody here to be on the same page about it. Of course. It is sometimes referred to as... I just find it crazy that he's so comfortable saying it now, but just had so much difficulty saying it to his wife. Like, that's crazy. It's like, the way he picks his battles is just why I think ultimately he he's going to... He's not going to win the war, as much as he thinks he is. But who knows? Law is too important to be toyed with. It's mankind's greatest achievement. The rule of law, the idea that no matter who you are, your actions have consequences. Yeah, as much as I think we would all like to agree with that, that's sadly not the truth <laughs> in reality. Oh! Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Yo. Oh man, this is wild. This is this is wild. This is nuts. He sent me pictures of the house. Chuck, my god. Why didn't you tell me? I didn't want to upset you. Too late. <laughs> Too late, man. Too late. This went and bit you way in the future. My God. You know, she's going to hate you when this is over. Yep. Damn, what is the game plan here? What is the game plan? What is about to happen here? Oh, my God. It feels like they just have it in a bag already. They insulate and protect against mild electromagnetic radiation. All right, so shiny insulation and space blankets all over the walls and the. I, I just realized, like, like Jimmy is, is doing his thing. Like he's just doing his thing. It's it's time to see how much he can do this. This is your house, right? Yes. So exposed wires. There's a. Woo! He is he is getting at his. I guess you can call it a disability at this point. You need to know if I believe that tape was evidence. And I say it was evidence of only one thing. My brother hates me. Woo! Oh, man. Oh, dude, this is, this is, this is wild. <laughs> this is crazy. This is some drama right here. We all understand the mind of Charles McGill. And the way this is shot, all within one singular location, is so well done. I can really feel the rotation of not only the camera, but of thoughts and how people are taking in information. Uh, so, okay, if you'd had, uh, I don't know, lung cancer, would you have told Rebecca then? Oh, oh, <laughs> he's getting at the legitimacy. Or the inverse square law. Okay, whoa, inverse square. I'm not a physicist. Could you dumb that down a shade for me? The farther away it is, the stronger the source needs. Yo, my man, he's back. He actually looks like he lost some weight, too. <laughs> Go ahead, man. From this distance, you should feel it, and you don't, do you? Mr. McGill, you were warned to leave your electronics outside. It's all right. Let me check to see if there's any batteries in there. Just as I thought. There's no battery in here. Yep. Battery. Yep. God, Jimmy. Don't you know by now this is real? I feel this. It's a physical response to stimuli. Yeah, we know he doesn't. We know. Oh, man, it's over, dude. Oh, boy. Could you reach into your breast pocket and tell me what's there? slipped the battery he slipped the battery oh my god slipping jimmy fully charged battery on you over an hour and a half ago hour and 43 minutes an hour and 43 minutes thank you mr babineau and you felt nothing wow wow oh man 
Oh, damn. Oh, damn. The this is crazy. I am not crazy. It's over. He got him. I am not crazy. He's got him. He got that idiot at the copy shop to lie for him? Mr. McGill, please, you don't have to go. You think this is something? You think this is bad? This, this chicanery? He's done worse. Title. Title. Title, title, title. He defecated through a sunroof. And I saved him. And I shouldn't have. I took him into my own firm. He said he shouldn't have. Holy crap. He'll never change ever since he was nine. Always the same. Couldn't keep his hands out of the cash drawer. But not our Jimmy. Couldn't be precious yep, Jimmy. Just what we were talking about. That relationship with his father, his wife, his, his occupation. Wow. I should have stopped him when I had the chance. And you, you have to stop him. You... God, that does not look good. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. Wow. That was, first of all, that was so well acted. But, oh, my God. Damn. He just blew up. He just come, he, he just blew himself up right here. I apologize. I lost my train of thought. I love that the camera is almost pushing out now, like it's exhaling. Because when we got close, it was just like he inhaled. And now that he got that all out, the camera's pushing back. Do you have anything else? Man, that sucks. I mean, it's great, but this situation's crazy. Wow, look at how isolated he is. In this frame. Golly, that's crazy. Oh, man. They're going to end it here? You're going to end it here? Yes, you are. <laughs> that's insane. Dedicated to our friend Jane. Wow. Guys, and that is the end to this episode. Wow, dude. All right, everybody. We just got done this episode. Man. Oh, dude. Oh, man. This show is wild. This show is wild. Like, it does such a great job at showing us that, like, there's so many wrongs and there's so many rights. I don't think, like, I don't feel good hoping for Jimmy and Kim uh, to win this. I don't. I know what Jimmy's capable of. I know what he's done. And it's not like Chuck is completely invalidated of all his experiences. But there's also things that Chuck has done and has assumed of his brother without actually having a conversation with him that has led him to get to this point to where he is telling somewhat of the truth when, you know, we're not talking about the his, his medical disability, you know. But because of this pent up aggression towards his brother throughout this entire entire time not even just not even just the like we heard it and i and i mentioned this in the intro i mentioned this i think a little bit in the beginning of the episode where it's not just the the feud between them it's been going on ever since they were kids ever since he has not let that go and you can feel it every single conflict every single moment they had they he was not un, he was not able to experience the love for his brother, you know, which, and I hate to say this, is forgiveness. It's forgiveness. I'm sure he's not the devil on the planet just because he stole, what, a couple of dollars or two? I don't even think he even did that. I think he just, like, thought that, or I think it was, like, something, like, but, but all is to say is that that little increment, he has not let go, and it just compounded and it accumulated to the point to where he thought that, you know, the, like, I mean, he held the last words that his, that their mother said against him just because he, she wanted to say bye to Jimmy. Like, his processing of that traumatic experience was not able to digest properly, and, and, and it resulted in this, this, this affliction towards his brother. And then we go into, like, his practices of law, and then we saw it a little bit with his relationship with his wife it's like 
it's just accumulating and accumulating and things that Jimmy just I honestly just wouldn't do. It's just him being him. He would take personally because he has not let go of all of those things that has happened prior within their lives. Guys, if there's anything I could tell y'all, <laughs> sometimes you just got to, for your own sake, for your own sake, let things go. Just let it go. That's so unfortunate. And that's heartbreaking because that 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 moment, what he said there, he could have just talked with his brother about it. You know, just say what like your feelings are. And I know it hurts, but you you have to do that. And again, the reason why we're here today, we're seeing this and we're, you know, and the beautiful writing that is constructed is because of him not talking to his brother you know him having this affliction and causing this distance but still again having that love for his brother but he can't appreciate it fully because of that it's so fascinating and as a and as an older brother um you know and and my younger brother we're like six years apart right as an older brother and i'm sure a lot of you guys too can relate to this if you got siblings there are just things that you guys do to each other that like you can you can easily just hate them i'm sure there's been moments where you were just like you know what i'm so mad right now i just don't want to talk to you ever again you guys probably are doing that right now okay but i'm telling y'all you know unless they i don't know murdered or, or like genuinely like are evil let it let let some of it go and then talk about the rest okay just let some of it go and talk about the rest because man this whole experience is just um it's painful it's painful i can't fathom doing this to my brother at all you know and as much as he keeps saying that he loves his brother and that he's doing this to teach him a lesson you don't do this you don't do this you don't do it to your brother you don't do this to family i wouldn't even do this to friends so it's just it's just unfortunate you know because it's all written there you know it's all written there um man this is incredible i'm gonna hop into the next episode for those of you who are on the patreon <laughs> but guys i would love to hear your thoughts on this this is incredible this is an incredible series but like always guys stay healthy and stay hydrated because we are just getting started purple jacket pocket full of weed everything that i should ever need grab some matches cause they give them free just like my time Pull back in the backseat